Microsoft's Game Pass service is easily worth the price of admission. Many might balk at the concept of having their video game library locked behind a subscription service, but the fact is subscribers get access to an incredible selection of titles spanning from indie darlings to AAA blockbusters for a surprisingly affordable monthly fee. With such a dizzying array of fantastic titles on display, it can be a daunting task deciding which ones are worth the player's time. Given that the cost of entry is taken care of with the subscription fee, the most pressing matter is determining the best use of your hard drive space. Thankfully, the diamonds of this collection are readily apparent. Now, it's worth noting that games do come in and out of the service each month, so a game mentioned here on this list might not always be available. With that said, welcome to Game Rant, everyone. My name is Jeffrey, and today let's go over 10 of the best games to play on Xbox Game Pass. Number 10, Halo The Master Chief Collection. The adventures of the Master Chief have never been as accessible as they are in the Master Chief Collection. This gathering of Halo games is the definitive collection of 343 Industries' endeavors to immortalize the series. Not only is every mainline Halo game, not counting Halo 5 Guardians, included, but the fantastic Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach were added as well. From beloved campaign co-op to thrilling firefight matches to iconic multiplayer modes, the Master Chief Collection really does have it all. Anyone who thinks of themselves as a Halo fan should consider it a must-play from Xbox Game Pass. And for those who have never completed the Master Chief saga, there is no better way to finish the fight. Number 9. Lies of P. No one does a Souls game like the creators of this subgenre themselves, From Software. But my goodness, does Lies of P come incredibly close to reaching the same level of polish and iconic design as its inspirations. You take on the role of Pinocchio, a Victorian apparelled stringless puppet who makes for a very silent protagonist. But this take on the fairy tale is much grimmer. The fictional city of Krat has been overrun by frenzied puppets, and you must navigate past blood-soaked cobblestone streaks and gear-strewn alleyways to find your creator, Geppetto. The combat is familiar if you're a fan of Bloodborne and Sekiro, as are most of the trappings of a Soulsborne game. However, a few changes have been made to the formula that shine a spotlight on how well Lies of Peace stands out from the crowd of other Souls-like titles. From Ergo, the Souls or Blood Echoes equivalent in Lies of P, waiting for you outside of boss arenas, to Blade and Handle upgrades being separate, a variety of alterations have made Lies of P a delightful, if challenging, tale to experience if you've been longing for more Souls-like action since Elden Ring released. Number 8, A Short Hike. A Short Hike is one of the shortest games you can play on Xbox Game Pass clocking in at about two hours, and that's being generous if you decide to beeline toward the top of Hawk Peak, the overall objective of the game. But to do so would do the game a great disservice. Though its visuals are exceedingly simple and the premise is fairly straightforward, A Short Hike does a fantastic job of highlighting the enjoyment we derive from going off the beaten path. How many times have you ignored a main quest line in order to explore a new area, or talk to an interesting character, or just collect one more ability upgrade? A Short Hike is the sweetest love letter to this style of playing a video game. Playing Beach Stick Ball ultimately gives you nothing, but it's a fun diversion from your journey. Following the painter as he goes from one spot to another doesn't reward you much aside from listening to him talk about his paintings, but finding him is more about learning his struggles than it is the golden feather you get for it. And giving the kid who bought all the feathers enough money for college is not a requirement to finish the game, but it was downright satisfying to be kind to him. A short hike is just as the title describes, incredibly short, but making it last a little bit longer is what the game's really about. Number 7, It Takes Two. It Takes Two is a fantastic game, but it's a bit misleading to label it as a single game. It treads over so many genres, it feels like multiple games all nicely fit into one package. And not only does it offer more than you might expect, it provides subscribers of Game Pass with one of the best cooperative experiences of the decade, if not of all time. Players take control of Cody and May, a married couple on the brink of divorce. The two are magically turned into dolls, which of course leads to a variety of hijinks as they make their way through a now larger and more dangerous world. From sliding down pipes to escaping from vacuums to battling wasps, there are so many ripe opportunities for engaging gameplay, and It Takes Two takes advantage of them all. Number 6. Sunset Overdrive 
A lot of players will never be able to get past Sunset Overdrive's attitude. It's a ripe with corny, fourth wall breaking humor and zany antics. But it would be a shame to dismiss Sunset Overdrive, because its dazzling art style and speed make it one of the most propulsive open world games available on Game Pass. Of course, this should come as no surprise, since it's from the maker of Marvel's Spider-Man for PlayStation, who cut their teeth on traversal mechanics and design here with Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive regularly takes advantage of its own best elements, namely the game's traversal mechanics and bright colors, to create some jaw-dropping levels with over-the-top set pieces. It has more than a handful of must-see moments. Definitely check this one out if you missed it. Number five, Costume Quest. Costume Quest is a family-friendly RPG set against a lovable Halloween backdrop. It's also my personal favorite game on this list. It's not a game loaded with complex systems or deep progression, but it more than makes up for that with cute characters and terrific writing, and some really great music. The game follows a cast of kids in their Halloween costumes on a nighttime adventure of trick-or-treating, plus a bunch more things. Battles take place in turn-based instances with sort of Paper Mario-style quick-time events to apply bonus damage or effects. But the best part is, of course, seeing the cast of characters take on their respective costumes' abilities. Chock full of Easter eggs and collectibles, Costume Quest does have more than enough fun to unpack for anyone looking for a theme-appropriate weekend of gaming, especially during the Halloween season. I play this every single October. Fans of Double Fine's brand of quirky writing and delightful charm should absolutely make room for their short foray into the spooky Halloween season. Number 4. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom The Prince's Edition Like its predecessor, Nino Kuni 2 is a family-friendly JRPG that lets players roam a gorgeous world inspired by the works of Studio Ghibli. While the sequel doesn't have the same amount of 2D animated cutscenes or the excitement of being a debut title in the franchise, the world of Nino Kuni 2 is as lovable and playful and enjoyable as ever. It's hard not to be smitten with the game's punny writing. See Master Pugnacious, a bipedal talking pug, as an example of this humor. And easy, but gleefully fast combat, it's an action-based one. It's not a game that will keep players occupied for months to come, but it's a simple world to be swept up in with visuals and sound design that make it easy to love and an enjoyable fantasy story. Number 3. Psychonauts 2 Another double fine game on this list, shouldn't be a surprise. Now, is over a decade and a half too long to wait for a proper sequel? Well, probably yes, but that doesn't make the result any less satisfying to experience. Psychonauts 2 hits with all the vibrance and zany third-person action platforming madness that solidify the original as a cult classic. Players once again control Raz Aquato as he continues to climb the ranks of the legendary Psychonauts. But this isn't summer camp anymore, this is the big leagues. A new villain has arisen to plague the minds of everyone's favorite psychics, but the familiar mechanics of the original game are back with even greater polish and pizzazz. It's fantastic to see Psychonauts' sequel that still carries the heart and charm of the original. Number 2. A Plague Tale Requiem a Plague Tale Requiem enlarges the conflict we were introduced to in its predecessor. And while some may prefer the smaller scale encounters and narrative beats experienced in Innocence, there is no denying the scope of what Asobo Studios attempts in its sequel. Amicia and Hugo are back, with even more aggressive enemies to contend with and a political conflict to get embroiled in. Amicia is clearly capable of handling things as Requiem leans in toward the combat aspect of its gameplay. Requiem feels like one of Sony's iconic narrative-driven games, and the performances for each character are simply incredible. If you're an Xbox fan but have been feeling like you're missing out on single-player experiences, A Plague Tale Requiem is a great place to start. Number 1. Hi-Fi Rush Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm action game, which means players are rewarded for landing hits in time with the game's music. Luckily, Hi-Fi Rush puts a lot of design into making sure that even rhythmically challenged players, like myself, will have a good time with its combat all the same. From its brisk pace to its gorgeous candy-colored aesthetic, few games scream try me quickly as immediately as Hi-Fi Rush does. The game's polish immediately makes itself known with visual frills at every turn and fully voiced cutscenes. Now, without spoiling anything, Hi-Fi Rush does great work with its licensed music, straddling genres to keep the game's music fresh and exciting throughout the narrative adventure. And there we have it, 10 of the very best games to play right now on Xbox Game Pass. Thank you so much for checking out this video from Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.